Elvis Presley was famous for many things, his voice, his style, his charm. But there was one thing he couldn't stand, and that was fish. Believe it or not, his distaste for seafood started when he was just a boy in Tupelo, Mississippi. As his Aunt Lorraine once recalled, young Elvis would tag along on fishing trips with her and his mother Gladys. While they enjoyed their time by the water, Elvis had the worst job, scaling and cleaning the fish they caught. The smell, the slimy texture, and the tedious work. It was enough to turn anyone off seafood for life. And for Elvis, that's exactly what happened. He grew a strong dislike for fish, Aunt Lorraine said. He hated every bit of it. Fast forward to Elvis's Graceland years, and that childhood experience left such a mark that not only did he refuse to eat fish, he wouldn't even let it into his house. His rule was ironclad, no fish past the gates of Graceland. There's a story Aunt Lorraine loved to tell about her husband, Travis, who worked as a gatekeeper at Graceland. One day, Travis decided to go fishing at a nearby lake. As he packed his gear, Elvis couldn't resist reminding him, catch all you want, but don't you dare bring those smelly things into my house. And so, despite his love for hearty meals, seafood was never on the king's menu. Even the mightiest ruler of rock and roll had his limits. <laughs>